Stone Age moves in, and we are set for race nine. And they're off in the Caesars Belmont Derby. And Classic Causeway is sent right out for the early lead. Royal Patronage on the outside, a close-up second with Grand Sonata next in third. Stolen base down on the inside with implementation. In tight there is Napoleonic War. On the outside is Tis the Bomb as they go around the clubhouse turn. So it is Classic Causeway and Royal Patronage through a quarter in 23 and two, and the front two have six lengths on Grand Sonata, who is next in third. Then comes the Napoleonic War running in fourth. Down on the inside is Implementation in fifth. Stolen bases alongside and in sixth. Nation's Pride runs in seventh, followed by Side Dog in eighth. Machete is on the outside in a ninth and now moving up a couple of spots. Then comes Tis the Bomb in 10th. Stone Age is 11th at this point, and the trailer is limited liability. The half mile in 48 seconds. They're midway up the back stretch. Classic Causeway has the lead here as Machete has moved up now on the outside of Napoleonic War. Those two are heads apart, second and third. Royal Patronage down at the hedge, runs in fourth. Then comes Grand Sonata next in fifth, followed by a Stolen Base, along with Nation's Pride. Side Dog is advancing down on the inside after three quarters in one twelve and one. It is still Classic Causeway leading by a half length. Napoleonic War on the outside. Just in behind is Royal Patronage in third. Then Grand Sonata in fourth. Side Dog is in fifth. On the far outside is a nation's pride. Stone Age now comes alive as the field comes into the stretch with Classic Causeway still the one to catch here. And on the outside, Nation's Pride is coming on with Stone Age. Grand Sonata is there as they come down for the finish. Classic Causeway. Here's Nation's Pride on the outside. Classic Causeway has pulled off the huge upset in his first start on the turf. He wins the grade one million dollar Caesars Belmont Derby.